river pod, or block. Which one is better? This is one of the most actively asked questions from Flutter beginners. Comparing river pod and block is not strictly a correct approach. Both of these packages can be virtually split into two parts, dependency injection and state management. Block uses its own extensions of the provider package for dependency injection and block or qubit classes for storing state. Riverpod on the other hand is literally provider 2.0 for dependency injection and has a state notifier package bundled with it for state management. Now let's start with a simple example. Look at this. Here we are doing a simple data fetching using qubit. Then we change the state and display the data with the help of qubit. Now if we want to do exactly the same thing with Riverpod, how should we do it? Riverpod has something very similar to qubit that called state notifier. When we look at the code, we see that it is almost identical with qubit. State Notifier is just a qubit. The implementation of both is very similar and both are based on Stream Controller, which is a concept already proven in real-world applications. Now let's check Consuming State in Widgets. Consuming State in Widgets is very close between Block and Riverpod, but there are differences which we can cover in three different scenarios. Rebuilding Widget on State Change. Rebuilding Widget on Partial State Change and Reacting to State without Rebuilding. In rebuilding widget on state change scenarios block uses the block builder widget to react to state changes from a block. Block builder goes through the widget tree looking for the closest block of a certain type and subscribes to its state changes. Riverpod uses the consumer widget to do the same. Since we don't have our state notifier in the tree, we cannot declare the type as with block. But we do have our trusty container of providers and consumer widget gives the container reference. Here we are explicitly subscribing to auth controller provider which handles state changes. The biggest difference here is that Riverpod provides an ability to use consumer on a user written widget level instead of within a widget build method. While using Riverpod you can use consumer widget instead of stateless widget and consumer stateful widget instead of stateful widget. Rebuilding widget on partial state change. If we have a screen governed by one state object which consists of multiple widgets representing a part of that state, we do not want the whole screen to rebuild when only a part of the state changes. Block has a block selector widget that allows you to listen to the changes of a part of the state. With Riverpod you have to change the code which subscribes to the state a bit, but you are still using the consumer widget, reacting to state without rebuilding. Block supplies a block listener widget which allows you to listen to changes in state and perform some action, for example showing a snack bar without rebuilding the underlying widget. Riverpod provides similar functionality by using ref.listen instead of ref.watch, wherever container reference ref is available, either inside the builder of a consumer widget or inside the build method of a consumer widget. A bonus is that you can also monitor partial state change here. Now let's check to changing state from UI. Block utilizes events to send signals to state objects for it to apply business logic and make changes to the state. This means that a developer needs to create a number of event classes that will be processed by the block object. In Riverpod you need to access the state object from the UI via reading it from the container. So you will be using ref.read to call functions inside of it that make changes to the state. This function is generally used for one-time actions like pressing a button. Now let's check the dependency injection. Block uses block provider for dependency injection. Block provider is a Flutter widget which provides a block to its children. It is used as a dependency injection widget so that a single instance of a block can be provided to multiple widgets within a subtree. And in Riverpod we can wrap our root widget with a provider scope. Provider scope is a widget that stores the state of all the providers we create. Both Riverpod and Block are excellent, and it is impossible to say which one is better. Use of them only depends on the scale of the project and the developer's personal interest. Now tell us which one do you prefer to use, and make sure to hit the subscribe button to get next video.